Hello everyone! Welcome again to I Love Ma. Sa video na ito, tatalakayin natin triangle congruence. Uh, but before that, please don't forget to subscribe kung hindi ka pa nakasubscribe and hit notification bell para ma-notify kayo pag meron, pa ta ma meron naman tayong uh, lesson na i-upload. So, let's start. Triangle congruence. So we will identify if, if the figures are uh, the pair of figures are congruent or not. Identify whether the two figures have the same size and shape or not. You just answer yes or no. Uh, so first figure natin mm, congruent ba sila or kapareho ba sila ng size and shape? It's a no. Because, hindi sila magkapareho ng size. Then, second, it's a yes. Pareho sila. Third, yes. Fourth, yes. Fifth, no, dahil maliit yung isa. Then, sixth, it's a yes. So, congruence. What is congruence? means having the same size and shape. So, uh, ang, kung, ang symbol ng congruence ay ganito. So, etong upper part is a symbol or a sign for similarity. Yung bottom part naman, alam naman natin, ito ay symbol ng equality and it is indicates the same size and shape. So, dalawa sila. Hindi yung equal lang, meron pa siyang sign of similarity sa taas. So, parts of a triangle. What is a triangle? It is a closed two-dimensional shape with three vertices, three sides, and three shapes. So, we have triangle. Kung meron tayong triangle, meron daw siyang three vertices, which is the intersection of, uh, intersection of two Mm, sides. So, end point siya ng two sides. So, we have papangalan na, papangalanan natin yung vertex A, vertex B, and vertex C. So, we have vertices A, B, C. And ito yung pagpapangalan ng uh, vertices. Next is the sides. So, sa sides naman, ito yung line segment joining the two vertices. So, example, ito, yung first line, uh, line segment na nag-join kay A at saka B, papangalanan papangala niya na side. So, first side is the side AB. Second, side BC. Then, third is side CA. Okay. Lagyan natin ng indicator para malaman natin kung uh, saan yung first side, second, and third. So, we have side AB, side BC, and side CA. Next is the uh, angles. So, we have angles are figure form by the intersection na forma siya na figure na by the intersection of two line segment or the two sides. So, we have first figure, i, uh, angle A, itong angle na to, ito yung na-form sa intersection ng two sides. Then, angle B and angle C. So, we have angle A, angle B, and angle So, correspondence is a symbol for, uh, ito yung symbol for correspondence. Para siyang line, uh, symbol for a line. So, we have two congruent triangles or magkaparehong magkaparehong triangles. So, pwede natin uh, sabihin na angle A corresponds to angle B. 
Ito yung symbol for correspondence. Next, angle B corresponds to angle E. Then, angle C corresponds to angle F. Then, kung, kung nag-correspond sila, ibig sabihin kung gruent yung dalawang uh, figure. So, we have a segment or line AB corresponds to line DE. Then, line BC corresponds to line EF. Last one is line CA or line segment A, uh, line segment CA corresponds to line segment FB. What is congruent triangles? Two triangles are congruent if their vertices can be paired so that corresponding sides are congruent and corresponding angles are congruent. So, meron tayong dalawang uh, triangle, triangle LAB and the triangle YOU. So, kung congruent sila, titingnan natin kung corresponding sides, nagko-correspond po yung sides nila and yung angles. So, ang symbol ng correspondence is ganito. The congru uh, sorry, ang symbol, symbol ng congruency, then symbol ng angle, symbol ng triangle, and correspondence. So, we will have corresponding sides. So, what are the corresponding sides? Okay, corresponding sides, if they correspond uh, to each other, meaning they are congruent. So, we, we will uh, identify the corresponding sides, so meaning they are congruent. So, LA, side LA corresponds to side YO. So, they are, LA are congruent to YO. Then, next is AB corresponds to a O U. So A B is congruent to O U. Last side is B L corresponds to U Y. So meaning they are congruent. A B A L are congruent to U Y. Corresponding angles again. Uh, angle L corresponds to angle Y. Angle A corresponds to angle O. And angle B corresponds to angle E. So, we have our activity. Fill in the blanks with the correct answer. Number one, ito meron tayong angle J O Y and angle S A D. So we have number one. What angle is in triangle S A D congruent to angle J and triangle J O Y? Ano daw yung angle na nasa triangle S A D? Etong triangle na to na congruent kay angle J. So, the answer is, ang congruent kay angle J is, eto, si angle S. Next, what side, side naman ng triangle SAD na congruent kay uh, uh, side JO? Congruent, congruent kay side GO na nasa triangle SAD. So, kapareho, kung kapareho ni uh, JO ay si 
SA. Next, number 3. What angle in triangle JOY is congruent to angle A and S triangle SAD? So, kapa, kap, congruent daw ni angle A, which is this one. Triangle, uh, angle A. Then, so, sino magkapareho ni angle A? This is angle O. So, the answer is angle O. Number four, what side of triangle JOY is congruent to uh, side AD in triangle SAD? So, ka congruent daw ni side AD. So, the answer is side so, itong side na to. So, the answer is side O, Y. Next, what angle in triangle SAD is congruent to angle Y? Angle Y. Ito. Kasi angle, congruent na angle Y is C, angle D. What side of triangle SAD is congruent to uh, side YJ in triangle JOY? Side YJ. So, C, SD. C side, SD. A DS. Sorry, sorry. C side, DS. Dahil... Si Y ang nauna, YJ, so si BS. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Until next uh, lesson na naman. Thank you and bye-bye.